Hello everyone. So today's video, we will be talking about differentiators. And differentiators are just like ideal op amps. And in, if you haven't checked out my ideal op amp videos, and I highly recommend you checking it out, checking it out before proceeding. But differentiators are essentially op amps, but they produce an output that is simply the differentiation of what our initial input voltage is. And the only difference between a differentiator and an ideal op amp is that we have our capacitance connected in the input and our resistance is kept the same from uh, the feedback. And this is an inverting differentiator because our capacitor and our resistance is connected to the negative terminal of the op amp. As far as equation goes, so for our equations, our current waveform is uh, basically formed by taking our capacitance multiplied by uh, the change, the rate of change at which the input voltage is uh, how, at how much is changing. Our output voltage is simply equal to the negative, which is the inverting configuration, multiplied by the differentiation time constant, uh, capacitance multiplied by resistance, and then we also are going to multiply by the change, the rate of change in which our input uh, voltage is, just like back in equation one. And our gain, or simply our transfer function, is uh, basically going to be the same thing, a negative times uh, our differentiation time constant, and this s is simply in the uh, frequency domain. So those are the three equations that we are going to be uh, using when we are dealing with differentiate differentiators. Thirdly, what we have is an example of what our output and input relations going to be. So here, what I've put is an input signal of a triangular wave. And you can uh, gather some intelligence here that um, we have a triangular wave, and the triangular wave is producing a linear slope, increasing and decreasing. And what's going to happen is that our op amp is going to produce the uh, derivative of this. And as we know that uh, deriving, differentiating, excuse me, differentiating a linear slope is going to give us a flat line. And these are the flat lines that we are going to get from our uh, input waveform. And that's what our output waveform is going to look like. So uh, from 0 to T1, it, the input is increasing at a linear slope. So what the output is going to give is a uh, positive flat line like this. And then from T1 to T3, it's going to give us uh, a, a negative flat line because f our input signal is decreasing uh, linearly and vice versa consequently. Now lastly what I want to show you guys is the frequency response of a differentiator. So unlike the integrator where our transfer function or our gain decreases at which our time constant is modified, for the differentiator time constant at the point at which it is initiated, everything, af everything larger than that. So, you know, let's say the frequency has been set at one over CR at this point. So er everything that is larger than this will produce a greater uh, gain for our transfer function. And that is it. I got uh, for the frequency response for a differentiator simple analysis on this type of uh, inverting op amp. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you in the near future. Thank you for checking out this video. There may be another video that you might also want to see that is the pole reversal of what we just did.